It's 2022, and the DSLR is supposedly dead. So why not pick up one of these and prove them all wrong? Welcome back to the Snappiness YouTube channel where I like to shoot old cameras like this Pentax K10D or Sony A100 or any of those other cameras I mentioned. In this video, I'm gonna go over five reasons why I think the 10 megapixel CCD DSLR is one of the best cameras you can purchase today. Reason number one, image quality. Let's start with the one that everyone wants to hear. These cameras take beautiful pictures. You've probably heard of some people's obsession with CCD sensors and the colors and the overall aesthetic they bring. The 10 megapixel era were some of the very last CCD sensors made for the professional to enthusiast level stills cameras. They represent arguably the peak of the technology before the industry almost universally transferred over to CMOS sensors. But less technical jargon and more on the photos. The images that I get from these cameras are some of my absolute favorites. Rich, vibrant colors, beautiful tones. The raw files are pushable to a decent degree given the age, and I think they can handle most typical photographic applications even today without a hitch. My number two reason is the price. The next best thing about these cameras is the price. Most of the camera models I've mentioned hover around the $50 to $100 USD in good working order. And a lot of this has to do with the availability of the cameras. The 2006-2008 era is when the interchangeable lens camera sales were really ramping up. Not quite at their peak, but getting close. This makes it a sweet spot as far as price is concerned nowadays. Old enough to be cheap and unwanted, but new enough to have sold loads of units. My number three reason for picking up a 10 megapixel DSLR now are the lens options. All of these cameras use the same lens mount system that their DSLR lineup has continued using until now, now that they're canceling all of their DSLRs. Some of them are dead now, some are dying, and then there's Pentax going forward as if nothing has happened. Keep on keeping on, Pentax. But this makes lens availability large and affordable. For example, the Sony A series cameras support Sony A mount lenses and a Minolta AF lenses from the 90s, giving you an amazing selection of cheap glass. The Pentax K system also works with AF lenses dating back to the 90s or the manual glass decades older than that. And then if you want to upgrade to a newer but still old DSLR, say a glorious 16 megapixel sensor, your lenses will still be compatible. In fact, it might not be a bad idea to choose the lenses you want first and let that guide your decision about which one of these cameras you should pick up. Number four, ergonomics. Nothing beats holding the chunky grip of an old DSLR. If you've ever found yourself using a newer mirrorless camera and feeling uncomfortable, you may be surprised to learn that comfortable cameras used to exist. Okay, but seriously, I'm glad that companies have started making better grips on the newer bodies. But as far as these older cameras, these are some of the best feeling cameras I've used to date as far as button placement, grip size, and weight distribution. Generally speaking, these old DSLRs feel great in the hands. And my number five and final reason is they're just plain fun. Whether you're interested in recharging your creative side or purchasing your first real camera, these old 10 megapixel DSLRs are simply a blast to use. The tactile experience of large grips, punchy buttons, clunky shutter sounds you can almost feel, and that whirring autofocus. If you've been missing the feeling of photography, beyond film, these are, the, in my opinion, the best option. Well, that's it. My list of five reasons I think 10 megapixel CCD DSLRs are some of the best cameras you can pick up today in 2022. Let me know in the comments what you think, any other things you would add. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy snapping.